Hey y'all, so here is how I have decided to do my um, class notebook for the upcoming school year. The first thing I'm not going to do is I'm not going to add students to it yet, and I'm not going to add student sections yet either when I create my class notebook. Um, so when I go through this process, I'm not creating student sections, so I just X out the ones that are in there. So for example, I'll show you. So if I'm creating a new um, class notebook, this will load in just a second. Okay, so I'm going to name this notebook, I'll call it McCready's um, Pre-Algebra Class Fifth Hour. Okay, so next, I don't care about all that. No other teachers having it. I'm not putting the students in there and I am Xing out all of these student sections because I don't want to do that. And I'm just going to click next. So right now, basically, I have a blank notebook. It's just going to be the stuff that I'm putting in there right now. So here's how it looks in the teacher's notebook. Student notebook looks the same, basically. So create. Okay, so when I create this. Okay, remember, you do have to go back and you have after you open it, you must go back and create the teacher's um, only page. I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so I received the email that said that I had created my um, class notebook. So all I have to do now is go over here and click open. And it will open it. It opens it on the web browser, um, which is fine, because for what I want to do right this second, that's fine. All right, so I'm going to go back to class notebook here. And I'm going to come over here to this black one that says Manage Notebooks. I'm going to click that because I want to go over here and I want to enable the teacher only section group. So I'm going to click that. Now that will be enabled for my notebook. And I'm going to go ahead and lock the collaboration space just because I don't want to use it right now. And that is all I'm going to do right now. You see, I have no student sections in my notebook, which is exactly how I want it. Okay, so now I'm going to go to Window OneNote for Windows 10. And I want to open that one here. You see, it doesn't show up right here. So if that doesn't, if your notebook is not showing up, just click more notebooks. And right here, because I've already opened it from on the web, McCready's pre-algebra class, fifth hour, I'm going to click that and open. Okay, so when it does open, and take it just a second. Let's go look at one I've already created. When I was, I want to create and organize this using section groups this year. So here's what that's going to look like. So if I go to my geometry first hour, which I've already set up, um, I don't have the students in here yet because I'm not going to do that yet. But if I go to my teacher only, here's what I do have set up. I've set up different section groups here. Okay, so for like unit one, I have basics of geometry and then I have each tab each section underneath that unit that I want to organize my information in notes, homework, whatever you want to do. Okay, so to create one of these, all you have to do is go down here to where it says plus section, right click on that, and you see where it says new section group, you would just click new section group, it will add one, you can right click again, rename it. So, so I'm going to rename this one. I'm just going to name it testing because I'm going to delete it later. I'm just showing you how to do this. Okay, so underneath here, I have no sections, but I can add sections. I'm going to make sure that this one is highlighted. I can right click and I can add a new section or I could have clicked add new section down here and I can add as many sections underneath this section group as I choose to. Okay, so this is how I'm going to organize my teacher only section. And let me go over and what I'm going to do. Let me go to y'all's. I'm going to go to the teacher training class notebook that we had. And here's how I'm going to organize the student notebook. What I'm going to do is every time I start a new unit, I will add a new unit section group to their binder. For example, if you see under here, I'll click Maryland's here. Okay, so I have a unit one section group underneath there, hers, and a unit two. All of you have this under yours if you, well, in this one today's first class um, teacher training notebook. Okay, so all I have to do in order to add one to a student notebook is go up here to, first of all, make sure you clicked on class notebook, go to distribute new section, distribute new section group. Okay, so over here, I want my new section group. I'm going to name this one unit three because I think I have unit one and two right in there. Unit three, 
I'm going to call it testing. I can put as many sections under here as I want. I can do notes. I can add another one. I can do homework. I can do um, tests or quizzes. I'll do quizzes. Okay, and then I can distribute this and it will go to all the students. So I'm not going to add these student sections until I'm ready to use them. So I'm not going to pre populate their notebooks before I'm ready. Okay, so it says it's distributed. So let's go look. Okay, so I do I see it. I don't know yet. So I'm actually going to come over here and sync it. I right click on the notebook sync sync this notebook. Where I can see the latest thing that I've done should be syncing. There we go. All right, so now we have unit three testing there the tab the sections that are under it. So that is how I'm going to organize the student notebooks and the teacher only pay only section. One other thing I want to show y'all, you guys can rename thing, rename people's names in here. I know that sometimes they're all jumbled. Sometimes it's last name, first name, sometimes first name, last name. It depends. And so if you want it to match RenWeb, which is last name, first name, you can rename the students. For example, I've already renamed Marilyn Himes right here, but if I wanted to rename, let's do Christy Pike. You can right click right here, rename section group, and I can say Pike Christy. And she would go to alphabetically wherever she's supposed to go. Okay, you can do that. And it um, if you like to see it that way, I know that some students who came here after sixth grade have a different um, naming procedure as, as far as how they come up in OneNote. So if you have any questions, please feel free to ask and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks.